We felt absolutely no sense of salvation or outside help. They feared for their sanity, their very lives. You know, all kinds of things were going on that night. Noises were going off downstairs, front door slamming, dogs getting sick, the kids' beds are being levitated and dropping down. A constant barrage of increasing terror finally made the Luxes realize they couldn't go on. And that was the last night we spent in the house then, because that was, it was ridiculous to even consider staying there, and yet it was very hard for us to leave to just organize all five of us into the same room and actually get out to the van and get us started and drive away with the dog. Only 28 days after moving in, the Lutz family abandoned all their possessions, everything they owned. I'm a journalist. I try to investigate as best as I can. When you first hear the Lutz's story, it sounds like a very good haunted house story. Author J. Anson. But then I spoke to the priest at his apartment in the rectory. When I heard his story and was able to put together a chronology of the events that took place within that framework of 28 days, I was convinced there are things out there that many people cannot explain. The phenomena that occurred to the Lutz's and to the father. I sincerely believe they took place. The Amityville house seems peaceful now. There is no evidence that any strange events have occurred here since the Lutzes fled. In search of has previously investigated haunted houses, and we've found that in many cases a human tragedy, such as a murder, has left emotional memories. This may be the explanation for the Amityville horror or there may have been a much more dangerous force, what psychics and priests call demonic, pure destructive energy, as ancient as time itself. The nightmares the Lutzes had experienced about the murders previously committed in the house caused Kathy and George to investigate the circumstances. Ronald DeFeo had murdered his father, mother, two brothers, and two sisters. Sentenced to life in Clinton State Prison in New York, DeFeo has claimed that demonic voices goaded him into committing the gruesome killings. Neighbors and acquaintances of DeFeo were astonished at how George and DeFeo looked alike, how they both presented the same appearance. George feared that his recent personality changes were further indications that he might become more and more like DeFeo, and not just in looks. This disturbing revelation prompted the Lutzes to seek out psychic investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren. The Warrens have investigated many disturbed houses, and they examined the empty house, looking for an explanation. What started the trouble with the Lutzes was the fact that there were six people who were murdered in that house. The inhuman, the diabolical, are attracted to where tragedies occur, just like a moth would be attracted to a light. And when the Lutz family moved in 13 months after these murders, they were still using some of the furniture that was in there. Uh, we know that vibrations can build up in a home like this of a negative nature and suddenly we have a psychic explosion. There are those who speculate that this psychic explosion was not really a sudden buildup from the DeFeo murders but rather that Ronald DeFeo was the object of negative forces already on this ground. Research shows that the Shinnecock and Massapequin tribes lived in what is today Amityville. The actual Lutz home is built on land where these Indians imprisoned their tribal members who were deemed insane, evil, or possessed. 
Perhaps these tortured souls caused negative forces to inhabit the Amityville ground. This seemingly far-fetched explanation helped confirm something the Lutzes desperately wanted to hear. We believe it was there when we moved in. We don't believe it uh, came to bother us after we moved in, let's put it that way. You know, whatever was there had been there for quite a while. All those involved with the Amityville horror agree on one thing. Some evil thing no one can explain seemed to inhabit the house. Why then was it never exercised? I'm a Roman Catholic priest. And the Roman Catholic Church teaches that people can become possessed, but not objects. The Lutzes were not possessed, so therefore I don't believe they should have been exercised. And I don't believe the house was possessed. There was something there. To this day, no one knows what actually was in the Lutz home. But whatever the explanation, in the case of the Amityville horror, one family managed to escape. The Lutzes fled to the opposite end of the country, never to return to the house in which they had sunk all their hopes and all their savings. I think I want my family and my children much more than I want a structure. And if you view it in that perspective, it's easy to walk away from. We still have that alone feeling. I guess that doesn't go away. We're glad it's over. For us, it's over. The Lutzes believe it is over. For them, it may be.